So I'm gonna click this plus button here, which is gonna pop open the uh, the new track dialog box here. And I'm gonna select his software instrument. And yep, we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna drag it down here, drag my kick drum at the top, just for organization's sake. And now I'm gonna click my instrument one down here, which has appeared in my mixer. So if I click this instrument here, I'm gonna pull open the EXS24, which is Logic's sampler. Now, you notice my view here is zoomed out again, so I'll just put this down at 100. And I'm going to open up a factory patch here for some drums. I just wanna do a snare drum. So I've got a whole bunch of things uh, because I have got all the content installed that comes with Logic. So I'm gonna go with single drums, snares. Mm, I might wanna do a clap. Let's, uh, let's do a snare, okay? So we'll do, mm, let's do electronic snares. And we will just load this up. And now I'm just playing stuff on my keyboard here. You can hear it all pitched up. Okay, so actually that one works out all right, I think. Now I'm going to record in a very, very simple two and four hit. So I can go back to the start, press record. Right, very easy. I'm just gonna stop it after that. I just press the space bar to stop. And now I can go down here and double click it and I have my little MIDI area has popped up. Now you'll see the tabs have changed from the audio one we looked at earlier. So now you have piano roll score if you are so inclined and a step editor. For now, we're just gonna focus on the piano roll. So we've got our snare in here. I'm gonna select the two and I'm going to just hard quantize them to a 16th note. I've got my various quantize settings in here. Press the Q to actually set it to say, yep, these are now hard quantized. So if we play them back, all right, there's our lovely little snare. And I'm gonna use our loop tool that we learned about last time to just drag that out because these are uh, an even uh, number of bars. It's gonna loop quite nicely. What I can do if you don't like the D142, you can click this plus button and it'll cycle through all the ones. That one's actually gonna be fine. I'm gonna layer that up later. I just needed to get something in there. Uh, if I double click this, I can just rename this to snare. And I'm actually just gonna rename this to muted chords and guitar loop. That way I can shrink these down. I kind of like having the volume sliders up there. So I'll just leave that like that. So now that we've uh, got our single hit snare drum in there, uh, let's, let's add a little bit of extra pizzazz to it because it's sounding a little bit dull. Uh, there's a few things I'm gonna wanna do to help it blend in the mix for later on. Distortion on there, as I like to do. Now, you have the option of adding an EQ via the menu here, or like we looked at earlier, double clicking and getting your EQ there. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff there I don't necessarily want. You know, adjust my output here so I'm getting the same input and output relatively. Okay, so it's relatively the same volume going in and out. Sounds better, then yes, I'm gonna leave it. So let's get adding some more stuff. I'll see you in the next video.